Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Um, just wanted to take a minute and let you know who I am and what I do here. Um, my name is Ben, I'm from Vermont, and I am a solar installer. Um, I also do batteries um, and heat pumps occasionally. Uh, and I also play with a lot of batteries in my basement. So this channel is gonna be uh, kind of going over stuff I do at my house. I'm gonna be uh, showing you different installations that I've done around Vermont, uh, different battery systems, commercial solar arrays, residential solar arrays, um, you know, grid tie systems, battery backup systems. Um, yeah, so here it is, and uh, maybe I'll just give you a little little tour of my system here, um, and then uh, we'll do some more later. So this is where I spend a good amount of my time, um, as you can see. Uh, this is my battery backup system here on the right. Um, and then I have uh, two grid tie inverters on the left here. Um, one of them doesn't really get used, the old Selectria. Um, that was just kind of a more for fun thing, but uh, the solar edge is tied to a 10.9 kW system on the roof. Um, and that does uh, my power for the year. Um, so I'll just go over kind of what I have here. So this is my battery backup system. Uh, this is a PIP 5048MG inverter um, with a uh, 5 kVA transformer on the output of it that takes the straight 240 volt and turns it into split phase 120 240. Um, and then my protected loads panel on the left. Um, then on the right hand side, uh, that's my battery combiner panel. So that is a Square D QO load center um, with uh, two pole breakers. Uh, and so each battery goes into its own breaker. Uh, so down here I have my battery. Um, and on the right side is the Smart for Two cells. Uh, that was out of a 2017 Smart for Two. Uh, it's about 18 kilowatt hours, um, and I'm actually doing a load test on it right now uh, to see exactly how much I'm going to get out of it. Uh, and on the left side are some Volvo uh, LG Chem modules, uh, those I just bought off a of battery hookup, uh, and I did a load test on those, a capacity test on those, and uh, th I got about 9.5 kilowatt hours out of there. So, that's that. Uh, let's see here, what else do we have? So my solar edge inverter and the Selectria inverter. The Selectria is off right now. The solar edge, well, is having some issues right now, but it does still work. Um, and it does uh, just about all my power for the year. Um, and then everything else is done with the PIP and the north facing array. So on each one of these modules here, I've used a DALI BMS. This is a, a 16S, uh, 60 volt, uh, 40 amp BMS. Um, and that basically just provides um, over charge, over discharge, over current protection. Um, and it just kind of keeps everything safe. Lithium can be dangerous if you don't do it right. Um, so that's what those are used for. Uh, and then I've uh, soldered all the leads onto the little tabs here. You can see, and I have the same thing on the Smart for Two battery. Um, this was actually these modules were 32s. I split them down the middle, so I have two BMSs uh, on each one of these modules. So this is my uh, battery combiner panel here. Um, so I have 12 two pole 20 amp breakers, um, and each module gets its own breaker. Uh, and what what a lot of people don't know is that with QO load centers, you can do up to 48 volts on a single pole breaker. Uh, 48 volts DC that is and up to 125 volts DC uh, if you use a two pole breaker and you do the positive to one pole and the negative to the other um, so that's how I've been combining uh, the batteries here uh, this is rated at 225 amps output um, so anything you know over 12 kilowatts would be a little bit much but up to that would be just fine I've been running a load test on um, all of the battery modules combined here for the last day and a half. Um, and so far I've gotten just over 20 kilowatt hours. Uh, we're at 
54.86 volts. And I have the low voltage cutoff set at 51. I did find with one of the Volvo cell or Volvo modules that uh, it did cut out at 50.8, and one of the cells was a little bit low, a little bit weaker than the rest. So I've set it at 51, and that should be plenty for my needs. I'm um, hoping to get about 25 kilowatt hours out of this uh, combined packs here. Thank you guys for coming to check out my channel. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask them below and uh, I'll answer them as best I can. And uh, stay safe out there.